Good morning, Mustangs. Welcome to Montella today. I'm Danny. I'm Cameron. I'm Audrey. I'm Malcolm. I'm Seth. Good morning, MHS. Welcome to the final Friday edition of Monticello Today, the school year. Attention, students. You need to return library books now. The Media Center needs time to shelve them to get ready for the big pack-up on June 1st. Help contribute to the Leadership School shoe drive by donating gently used sneakers. The sneakers will be sent out to help kids in other countries. Look for the collection boxes located outside of the main office, the library, and Mrs. Mead's room in G201. All dance and vigil team members at the Marching Man, our next meeting will take place next Monday, June 1st, from 4 to 6 p.m. Please report to the band room after school. And that's all the announcements today, and here's Port's Pots with your sports report, followed by the last Turner time of the year. Have a great weekend, everyone. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the Sports Report. The softball team season came to an end last night with a tough 4-3 loss to Stewart Schraft in the Conference 29 Constellation matchup. Congratulations to the baseball team who defeated, who defeated Turner Ashby last night 3-1 to win the conference title. The Mustangs playoff run continues Monday when they host a regional game. Finally, good luck to the boys across team as they head to EC Glass this afternoon for a 4A South Regional matchup. That's all for me. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Monticello today. Now it's Turner time. It's Turner time, Dr. Turner time. Fridays go great when you watch Turner time. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Dr. Turner, MHS, let's go. It's Turner time, Dr. Turner time. Fridays go great when you watch Turner time. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Dr. Turner, MHS, let's go. Hey, what's up, Monticello? This is Dr. Turner. Welcome back to Turner Time. Hey, listen, uh, it's kind of unbelievable, but, you know, this is it. This is the last Turner Time of the school year because, believe it or not, um, there's like, what, another about week, another seven days of school left, I guess. Um, and uh, here we are at the end. So... I won't drag this out, but I do want to say that I really appreciate all the hard work that has gone into this year, all the work that the students have done. Uh, this, this has been a, a, a pretty tough school year. There have been some things that have happened that I feel as though every stakeholder involved with the school probably has, has felt it in some way, in, including the children. But you all are very resilient. Um, and, you know, every time I would look at attendance or, or just look around the hallways, you know, every day, no matter what was going on, we had at least a 90% attendance rate or, or close to it. So, so I, 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 I felt like school was still a good place for our children, a place where children felt safe, a place where our young people believed they could flourish and, and, and get help if they needed uh, it at any time. So I, I'm, I'm really excited that, that we were able to get to this point. Uh, and, and just uh, right now, we're almost, the school year's almost over with. So uh, you all have done a phenomenal job. I'm extremely proud of you. Uh, tomorrow's graduation, some of you all have a brother or sister or just friends that are graduating. I'm sure uh, I possibly will see you around uh, JPJ. Um, Hopefully I have my glasses on, because if I don't, I definitely won't see you. But, uh, uh, you know, it, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big event. And since this is pretty much my last time in front of you all this year, I, I do want to say that uh, in, during the summertime, there's a lot to get into, okay? Um, please be careful. Please don't do anything that you don't have any business doing. Um, if you feel like you need help, make sure you try to find people to get you help. 
all right? Um, I, I can't go into any details, but I got a call from uh, the police department last weekend uh, about a student, and I was concerned. So I will know if something goes on with you all during the summer, the police department will call me. So I'm, I, I don't want you all to feel like just because you're not in school and you're not around some of the most consistent adults in your lives, uh, whether it's me or your teachers, I don't want you to feel like you can't get help, all right? I want you to be safe. Don't do anything to get yourself hurt. Definitely don't do anything to get yourself incarcerated. Um, I want you to have fun. Uh, hang out with your friends. Hang out with your family. Get some rest. Disconnect from school a little bit. So in August, when it's time to roll again, everybody be fresh and, and, and we'll be ready to hit the ground running. All right, again, this has been a phenomenal year. I appreciate all of you all's support of me. Um, I love you more than you could ever know, and I wish you a great summer. All right, talk to you later. Peace.